Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at this 118 scale military buggy. Now, if you've been collecting military action figures in the 118 scale, you probably have heard of World Peacekeepers. Usually the World Peacekeepers stuff is pretty famous for the accessories and vehicles, and not so uh, famous for their poor quality in action figures. But usually their boxes are like a green and have big... World Peacekeepers print across the bottom. I'm not totally sure what has happened with uh, those. You usually find them like a in the U.S. here, like a big lots or even online. And it, believe it or not, some of those sets uh, can get pretty pricey on the second market. But here we, you can find these online. They're rebranded as Click and Play, as you can see in the top uh, left there. Uh, on the bottom right, you can see the World's Peacekeepers. That's kind of the first time I've seen that on the uh, click and play boxes. But we're going to be taking a look at this. Um, pretty much bought this for maybe a potential future custom for the vehicle, not the figures. The figures are very um, subpar. They're not even worth, uh, in my opinion, the uh, effort to customize. Um, they're pretty much only good for like cannon fodder, if anything. So this is the box that it comes in. This is the front of the box. We have the click and play at the top, military buggy. On the left here we have a list of all the stuff you get. Here we have a um, 16 piece set. Warning turkey has a small parts, not for children on the age of three. You see some of the uh, accessories, the vehicle and the figures you get. Over here on the uh, right bottom. So let's collect them all. And always be ready for engage in uh, multiple mission, special missions. And then there's that world's peacekeepers there. For some reason, there's like the lyre and it's hard to read. On the side of this box, it's a picture of the vehicle. Kind of reminds you of like a G.I. Joe Cobra Stinger. A couple of figures there. And then we have uh, some print. It says, armed with the most effective military equipment. Go ahead, combat, pretend enemies. Gather intelligence, conduct military operations, hostage rescues, humanitarian assistance, or even, uh, or simply patrol your territory. And that's that side. This side it just basically has the digital gray camera print, the same pictures and silhouettes. Here on the top we have the basically the same. Uh, features but it does have the 118 scale here and a minimum of 21 points of articulation for the figures even though they are not very um, good. The back of the box it shows you the wide um, range of uh, vehicles and figures and places that they have available which are very cool for the most part it's just the figures are not very good. The bottom of the box They have shows you how to put the uh, weaponry on the uh, buggy, on the rear, the pro product information, the UPC, and uh, stuff you expect to see for legal information. So let's go ahead and uh, get this guy out of the box, see what we got. Okay, it looks like it's... And this way. I mainly bought this for like maybe my uh, Navy SEALs vehicle for my set of joy toy figures that I have. Just not sure how they're going to, you know, work with the uh, overall ses um, my space for the uh, seats. So here's two of the figures we'll take a look at here soon. Bag of accessories. And another bag of accessories. It sits on a piece of cardboard. So we'll take a look at the buggy first. Rolls super nice. It's pretty much a black in a flat black vehicle. Plastic tires. Nice uh, sculpt work there. Here's some features here you can put, you know, 
uh, equipment in. Two seaters up front. So this is perfect for like a, this is a um, blank canvas for any kind of a custom. You can paint the lights or you know, the shocks, whatever you wanted to do. But it's perfect for that. Here's the side. It looks about the same as the other side. It's the top of it. In the back, I have a seat. I do not know what this is for. I mean, you would want to stand a character. I mean, it doesn't catch the ground. Maybe it's very close to very small clearance. Looks really good. You could paint all this up. Look very cool. It's a seat to spins. We have a bar here. I'm not sure what that's even purpose is that for. We'll take a look and see. So let's take a look at our accessory bags. Uh, what else we have a vest that goes on one of the figures. Also the figures are not, like I said, are not very good and mostly they're assess most of the accessories like this is just very cheap rubber. Um, here's the other vest. I do know there are people that collect this. Don't get me wrong. If you enjoy it, I'm not bashing them. But for me, they're the figures and the figures accessories are not uh, for me. Um, but I do enjoy the vehicles and the accessories, mostly the accessories and play sets. But here's one of their M16s, for example. And this is what they're made of. This is the cheapest rubber gun you could get. So you get that one. You get a little larger one. As you can see here, it's already bowed down. You can just manipulate them in way you want. And, uh, just pick them up and give them to your kids to play with if they're old enough. You see how bent they are. It's just the way those are. Now, this is one of the cooler accessories. It's actually come painted. This is for the grenade launcher. So actually you have the military green with the uh, brass head. So we we'll definitely be keeping uh, the buggy in this. So we're going to put on this side, we'll put what we're keeping. On this side, we're not. So on this baggie. Let's see what we have here. So this is like a Mach 2 grenade launcher, I think. Very cool. This goes on front of the vehicle. You lift this, you can lift this panel up and you can insert the grenades here. They just like kind of lay in there like that. You just shut that down and then they'll go into the container that we'll look at here shortly. That's how that looks. Nothing else is movable. It's just a straight piece. And the plastic ain't the greatest, but it's pretty cool because most of the collectors use Wars World Peacekeepers as kind of a, a placement holder because of the lack of uh, cool real military style vehicles we get from anywhere else, like you know Hasbro. I mean, how even Joy Toy. I mean, you don't get vehicles for your figures very often. Hopefully, someday it will change. That's pretty cool. And here you get a uh, machine gun. It's black. Pretty cool. Two little handles right here for your figure to hold on to. And then you get this container, which is for the grenade um, grenade belts for your grenade launcher that sits in the side of the vehicle. And it opens up like so. And then the lid has some pretty good detail. So this is a cool accessory. It's painted green, which is great for military. But you have this thing, and you can put these inside. And then kind of have it open like that. If you want to. But these are used for different things. Like you can get them in other sets. Even like the towers, the watchtowers. And then you get two of these brackets. 
These would hold the, hold the AT4 uh, rocket launchers. And then you get two watering cans. I believe these are watering cans. These are cool. Even the you know, solid piece are not waffled or anything. So they look really good on uh, with any of your sets. And you get two of these rocket launchers. Let's see if I get these out of the way. And like I said, for me, I'll, I'll do some painting on them. To paint up the ends and some details. Trying to keep it as much green as possible for the military appearance, but uh, that's what uh, I kind of want to keep that for. So, let's see here. So, this will basically sit in the front here, like so. I'm not going to push it all the way down yet because I'm going to put it back in a box because I still want to do my customization for it. Yeah, you, know, you could put a your canister here and um, put your shells in if you want to. Of course, we may want to do the other side here. Let's see. Let's put this here, and then you could drape your shells over or under. Maybe might be a better way. Eh, I get twisted up in the uh, whole system. But you get the idea. I don't want to push all the way down because I'm not sure if it comes back out very easily. But then you can stick those in there. However, you want to arrange it and then put that on there. Yeah, kind of like that. But like I said, I don't want to put it together just yet. And then you can take these two pieces. And you can snap your rocket um, rocket launchers on top if you want. Let's see how this, see how that holds. It. I gotta find the right spot, I guess. And then you can put it on there. There's two of those. And you can put one on the other side if you wish, like so. Um, these cans you can set wherever you want. You know, side there like so, on both sides if you want to. Um, so you have this. Uh, this is supposed to be for the back here. See how that goes on. I have to take a look at it off camera. Well, I'm not sure how that attaches to the back of this thing, but because it doesn't know where it attached, but it does attach on the top or right here in the center. This thing does not come with any kind of instructions, it's just uh, in the box. It just kind of has like snapping peas. It doesn't look like there's anywhere for that to make, to make sense because it's just thicker than that to, you know, to be pushed down. Um, I said it was part of a different uh, set. You got the gun that comes with it, but this set you don't. I don't know. But it's still a good, cool piece to, to customize. Um, the figures. So like I said, these things are not very nice. You can see the poor quality. The plastic feels terrible on them. If you're just looking for something to fill a battlefield, I mean, these guys would work. I mean, the articulation is the same. It's just on a 360. There's no side to side and no hinge or anything. Or just on a pay on a neck. Arms rotate 360. They do have bendable elbows. Very, uh, that one's stuck. Oh, it's backwards. They got it backwards on a package. So they've been like that, about 90 degrees. They raise up about that much. No articulation in the chest. We do have a waist swivel there hidden above the belt. Like that. And they do sit very well. Single jointed knees. 
the feet do pivot down a little bit up. There's no side to side or anything. So that's your figures. And the plastics definitely you can feel the like more like your Dollar Tree, Dollar General figures. But like I said, most if you've been collecting figures for a while, you under most people know that uh you don't buy these sets for the figures. There's a screw in the back there. The wrist basically just spin 360. There's no other joint. This one has a pointing finger. There's not much detail to them at all. Pretty generic. But yeah. You know. Well, this set, this set I think I got for like online for like $18. Like I said, I didn't buy it for the figures. I'll just give it away with the weapons to somebody. Um, so basically, I'll be keeping the vehicle, the watering cans, and the parts for the uh, rack on the top, the guns and the rocket launcher. And hopefully it works out for maybe... Some of my joy toy figures or maybe some uh, G.I. Joe's. Just trying to see how well, how much space is here under the stone wall. Because some of those more modern figures have sitting, sitting issues. But, cool little vehicle. I think you can carry well three people. And maybe if you want them to stand on the side, you probably get five. Um, I'd probably have to pick up another one if it worked out for what I wanted it for. If I do use it for my Navy SEALs Joy Toy team, um, that way I can have two vehicles to carry because there's six figures in that set. But overall, it's pretty cool. The quality of the vehicles is much better than the figures. But they definitely, um, you can actually give them two kids to play with. Pretty good quality um, vehicles. You got to pick what you choose. Pick and choose what you would like out of them, I should say, versus uh, you know keeping everything if you wanted to. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the look at this uh, click and play 118 scale military world peacekeeper slash buggy. Um, Definitely an um, inexpensive way to have uh, vehicles for your large armies if you have one due to the lack of, you know, big box brands putting out vehicles. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like and share the video. And we'll see you in our next review.